So I started out with priming my eyes with Urban Decay Primer Potion, and then I put the Maybelline Paint Pot or whatever little color tattoo in Barely Beige all over my lid. Going through my crease with Jane Cosmetics Natural. Then going in with a mixture of Max Sketch and Trax, and I'm putting that in my crease and in my outer corner. Taking a mixture of Max Coppering and Cranberry, I am putting that on my lid from the maybe middle to outer portion of my lid and blending that all the way up into my crease and taking Essence Sandy Says Hello as my transition from my inner corner onto my lid. Using the Maybelline paint pot or whatever paint thing in painted purple. I'm using that as an eyeliner. And it was pretty tricky in a way because it was keep I kept clumping up at the outer part, so I just had to take a uh, wet wipe with some makeup remover on it and try to sculpt it out into a very large and defined wing. But it was awesome and really pretty once it was completely done. So it was completely worth all the hassle of trying to get that line straight and to set that um, purple eyeliner so it doesn't move or smear. I used Max Parfait Amour. I curled my lashes and then I put some Urban Decay Perversion Mascara on them and then layered some telescopic mascara right on top. As far as my eyebrows went, I went not as heavy as I have been going with them, um, and I just filled them in with um, the Anastasia, um, what's it called, Anastasia Little Duo Powder in Ash Blonde, and um, I didn't really sculpt them out with concealer or sculpt them out with um, a pencil or anything like I have been doing. I guess I ended up having a second thought and wanting to sculpt my eyebrows with a bit of concealer because I feel like when you start doing that, it really makes it so you always have to do it because otherwise my eyebrows look like little caterpillars hanging out on my face and it's like such a not a cute look. I t used some Select Cover Up by MAC underneath my eyes, and then I also used Age Rewind by Maybelline in the brightening shade, and a mixture of that is really what I love to do underneath my eyes. It makes a beautiful, beautiful under eye um, concealer and highlight. As far as my cream contour, I took the Sonia Kashuk Cream Contour 
and um, it is one of my favorites. I use it almost on a day-to-day -day basis. It just really does a wonderful job of warming up your face, making you look very glowy and sun-kissed, and it's just a really nice thing um, to just put underneath your um, powder. Um, I used the, um, what is it called, what powder is that, the Laura Marcier powder, um, underneath my eyeballs, and then set my whole entire face with, um, some random powder, honestly I can't even tell you what it was, probably not. I used Anastasia Java to set my contour and MAC Blush of Full of Joy and Highlight Whispery Guilt. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe. Love ya. Mm.